Okay, so here we go. This is what I'm talking about. We got a big one, dude. All right. So we are out here today in the western fringes of the Colorado desert. Gonna be flipping some junk for the first part of the day. Seeing if we can get lucky with any snakes. It's stormy, it's kind of drizzly and stuff out here, but it's pretty warm, it's in the 60s. So we'll see if we can find anything. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we are gonna get into some salamander stuff later. So we will see what we can find. There we go, dude. Haha, -ha, yeah. Bro acquired. That's awesome. That's a good looking shovel nose, baby. First of the year. He's tweaking. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what are you doing, brother? These are one of my favorite common snakes down here. And at this locality, they are very, very bright. He's kind of going crazy. But I'm actually surprised to see one today. Everything's been very dry and just not the best. This guy has decided he wants to be a ring. <laughs> it's hilarious. So cool. Shovel nose snakes are really funny because a lot of the times they have quite the attitude. Even when they're tiny, they, they'll strike at you and stuff. <laughs> they're funny little snakes. They're also just really, really cool looking, especially these Colorado deserts. They're just very orange. They can be at least. There's that burrowing. So that's what these guys are best at. They have that sort of shovel shaped snout that they use to kind of burrow into the sand. Let's see him. <laughs> He's actively uh, kind of tied himself in a knot here. <laughs> Look at that little goober. Look at this one. But yeah, we're super stoked. It's actively raining right now. Not that hard, but you can kind of see the rain and the storm in the hills a little bit. Good start. I wasn't sure if we would even get a snake today, so... We're gonna let this guy go and keep flipping a little bit and see if we can find any more or find anything else. Desert hairy scorpion. So yeah, for California, this isn't as big as they get, but not even close. For California, that is like our largest native scorpion. They look scary, but uh, maybe half size right here. Yeah, it's probably half size. They look scary, but. I'd say a bee sting's probably worse. So. More likely to. Cool animal. Uh, we're gonna keep moving here. Another bigger desert hairy. He's uh, not super happy, but that's cool. That's a grande. All right, we got another little shovel. This guy, this guy is very pale and also kind of disturbingly skinny. I don't think he's had a meal in a hot minute. Um, but yeah, shovel nose number two. Want to make sure you got to knock first. Somebody, let's home. Oh my God, it's heavy! Holy crap! Oh! Oh! One of those grows. Oh. Pretty cool little snakes, man. Very, very small, kind of very small orange saddles on this guy. Not, not anything like the first one. Not wrong. It's crazy to watch him move with all those bands. <laughs> all right, back he goes. All right, you guys, we're doing a pretty interesting one this evening. The rain's just starting to come in here. We've got a pretty pretty good storm, biggest storm so far of the year forecasted for tonight. And um, as you can see, there's a nice amount of water actually starting to gather in some of these places. That rock's nice and wet. But uh, we're gonna be looking for a very rare salamander out here that has not yet been described. I've actually seen these animals before, but it's been quite a while and I haven't documented one yet for my series. So we're gonna be poking around here this evening and see if we can hopefully find one of these guys. We'll see how it goes. 
Okay, well, we've been here for five minutes, and that's a youngster, but there you go. <laughs> that's an NC2 Borrego salamander. So these guys have only been discovered in the last few years. Well, I believe there was one old record from like the 60s, but in the last handful of years, people had found them and start figured out, figuring out when and where to look for them a little bit better and uh, have become sort of reliable in the right place. And there you go. I've seen a couple of these guys. It's been a while, but I've never seen one out on the crawl. So that's freaking awesome. I'm kind of surprised we've been out of the car for like five minutes. Bro, I was just walking over to the seepage joking around and you're like, there's one. I thought you were, I thought you were I am not with me. kidding, bro. That is a, that's I was a... joking. I was like, we'll just scan all the cracks. Surely they'll be there. <laughs> I didn't think that shit would work. I know this just looks like all the other small, dark, worm-like salamanders, but these guys are kind of a big deal. Like I said, I have seen them before, but it's been a while. Especially to see one just in C2 like that. That is freaking awesome. How about that? I, I'm kind of at a loss for words. I mean, I figured there was a good chance we'd see one tonight, but not... Well, this is a spot I've never looked for them in, and it took us five minutes. That's kind of shocking, but... Yeah, that's cool. Like This guy's a little juvenile. The adults are actually really, really cool looking. For our they're very large and very pink. So I think we're just going to leave this guy right here and just keep moving. See if we can find some more. But that's freaking awesome. I'm, I can't believe we found one of these things, to be honest, this quickly. That's crazy. Okay, so here we go. This is what I'm talking about. We got a big one, dude. Yeah. As you can see, super, super pale. That's the biggest thing on these Bregos. They tend to be like really earthworm pink pale like this. Oh, that's so cool. Haha. <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy. We got two at a locality I've never looked for them at. And this one is freaking sick. Dude, look at that thing. That is a earthworm. Look at that face, dude. This, that is so awesome, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. Let's go, dude. All right, yeah, we're going to have to... That is a fat Borrego, dude. I want to get a photo or two. All right, well, that was pretty sick. Um, somehow we managed to find two of those guys, like right off the rip. So instead of sticking around all night, we decided we are gonna switch it up. It's only about 7.30 right now. So we are driving to the range of Patricoceps aridus, the desert slender salamander. Um, these guys are probably quite a bit harder to find. I've never seen one, I know very little about them. We're gonna go see if we can make it happen, I guess. Uh, the night's early, so yeah, we'll, uh, I'll get back to you guys when we're at our next spot. All right, so we are out. We're out in the foothills of the Santa Rosa Mountains now. Just working our way into a wash. Um, so a little history on these desert slender salamanders, Patricoceps aridus. For a very long time, they were only known from two different localities, two different areas in this mountain, neither of which have yielded a salamander in the last, like, 20 or 30 years. But in the last handful of years, at least one new location has been found in this area. Now we don't know where that is. So we are just kind of throwing darts at a chalkboard, hoping we, we kind of scouted the habitat in this wash and it looks pretty good. So we got a few miles to go up into this wash and we'll see if we get lucky. I'm not uh, I'm not counting on anything, but if nothing else, we'll get some scouting in here and see what we can find. It's a really nice night. It's raining, but it's surprisingly warm. I'm kind of sweating right now. So we'll see if we can uh, find anything cool, find anything unique. Habitat's getting pretty wild out here. We are slightly concerned about the possibility of a flash flood. Because, I mean, if one comes through here, it's probably not the best place to be. But habitat's definitely changing. It's starting to look more like what I'm hoping for here, but we've still got a little ways to go. So keep going. All right, so we're basically at the habitat that we were looking at on the map and uh, some real nice talus slides here. Lots of rock, 
a lot more plant growth than there was back where we started. So, like I said, we don't even really know for sure whether these salamanders live here or not, but maybe they do. And we're just gonna poke around here for a little while and uh, see if we can find anything and then turn around and hike back. So we will update you guys if we happen to spot anything. All right, moon's out, it's kind of clear. We're on our way back down the canyon here. We uh, obviously didn't find our slender salamander, that's fine. I didn't really expect it, but we did good tonight. We got those Borregos, we got some shovel nose today, and we did some good scouting here. Some more localities to try out next time. This is gonna be a, kind of one of those nightmare species, so we'll have to keep giving it a go. I'm hoping to get back out at the end of this next week. It looks like we got some warmer weather coming, so. Hopefully be able to get out and get some snakes or something, but yeah, I will see you guys next time I get out. All right, good morning. It's been a few days since that little storm we got out. I don't have very much time today, but I do have a couple hours here before work this morning. I'm just gonna flip one of my local spots here, see if we can find anything. It's kind of damp still, but starting to get some nice green grass coming up finally. Things are looking greener. Um, I do honestly expect to see something out here this morning. Have not yet seen a California king snake this year or any land propeltus for that matter. So cow king would be nice, but pretty much anything would be good. We'll see how it goes out here. And uh, I'll get back to you guys with any finds. All right, there we go. Not a snakeless morning. San Diego gopher snake, pituophis, catenifer, anectins, young guy. Real nice yellow belly on this one, especially up towards the head and the neck. Very, very bright, but a common species. But I'm happy to get something, so we will let him go and uh, keep flipping. See if that's hopefully just the first of many for this morning. Under, under, there you go. Sweet. Yeah, first lamp of the year, a little baby California king snake. Let's get him here. Awesome, first king of the year. Woohoo! So yeah, just a young guy. Typical banded morph. The younger snakes tend to have more of a blacker coloration and then get kind of more pale brown as they get older. But awesome. Very happy. First lamp propeltus of the year. Let's go. So king snakes are snake eaters. They eat other snakes. They're a real interesting species. Obviously, like I said, this guy's a baby. I've, uh, I've seen bigger ring necks, but still, very cool. Oh, he's getting defensive. <laughs> ah. Very scary. Not really, but harmless little snakes. Really, really cool. They are a fan favorite for a reason. But yeah, awesome. Banded Morph California King Snake. We're gonna see what else we can find. The snakes are seemingly out this morning. These, uh, these reins are finally doing something good, it seems like. Look at the tail. <laughs> Alrighty, back you go. All right, couple boards later and we have more of the same. Another youngster cow king. Pretty much the same. I think it's gonna shoot down that hole right there, which is just fine, so. Sweet, another one. Big alligator lizard. Not huge, but good size. Nice yellow coloration on him. Cool. Little Western skink. Not too happy with me. Yeah, this guy's an adult. So like, unlike in the last episode, the adults kind of lose that blue. It's more of a brownish gray color on the tail, but yep. Yeah. Goodbye. Another new one for this morning. Our old Betracoseps friend, Betracoseps Major. We're just gonna leave him right where he is and keep flipping, but, oh, I didn't even see there's a lizard that ran by too. I think it was a side blotch lizard, but nice. Diversity's getting up. This is turning out to be a great morning here. Very cool. There we go, number three on the baby cow kings. This guy's even smaller than the other ones. Three baby cow kings this morning. How about that? 
that's really awesome. I won't spend any more time than I need to here with this guy. Adios, good sir. No, here, you know what, I'll just lightly, yeah, there we go. Good, potato bug. But yeah, just finishing up the boards here. I think that was the last one. Oh no, one more little guy. All right, yeah, very nice. Oh no, there's one more, hold on. Unmas. Got it. But yeah, how about that? Three California king snakes this morning. All my first ones of this year. Just goes to show you how much conditions really change snake movement out here. Uh, get our first couple of good storms, some rain, some warm weather, and then they just start moving like crazy. Awesome. We got a gopher snake and three cow kings. Can't complain with that. I think I'm gonna end this episode here. So thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Mm -hmm.